So you probably noticed after you transferred all your data over from your PS4 to your PS5, that your PS4 has a new application called PS5 Remote Play. This is a really cool feature that allows you to remotely connect from your PS4 to your PS5 with just simply an internet connection. You can connect anywhere in the world to be able to do it as long as your PS5 is turned on, but we have to do a couple of settings first in the PS5. So you wanna hop into your PS5 settings, and when you go into settings, you wanna go down to system, then from system, you want to go to where it says remote play, and then you want to toggle and turn on so it swipes to the right, enable remote play. This will allow you to obviously connect from your PS4 to your PS5. Now, if you're not signed into both your PS4 and your PS5, you're gonna to need to go to link devices and grab this code. You're gonna need this code to take over to your PS4 to be able to connect it up and be able to use remote play. But if you're signed into both with your PSN account and they're on your account, you should be fine. You should be able just to hop over there into it, which we're gonna do right here. And when you hop right in, you just start off PS5 remote play and you can kind of connect and search for your device and it will search up for it and eventually to find it and instantly connect to it. And it's just as simple as that. Find it, bada bing, bada boom. You're instantly connected to your PS5 through your PS4 just through a simple internet connection. Now it's pretty cool that you can control everything with your DualShock 4 controller. You can kind of go around. Uh, you can go between all different menus if you need to. So between games and media and back again. Uh, if you want to play a game, it's pretty interesting. You can just go hop in your games library. We can uh, launch Astro's Playroom, which is a PS5 game, but you can play this with your DualShock 4 controller. And you can see you can control it just like this. Oh, and I just died just that quickly as well, too. But it's uh, pretty cool. You can tell that the graphics are obviously down and the frame rates drop just a little bit because you're doing this over an internet connection. And so there's obviously some limitations with that and limitations of what your PS4 can do as well and I'm using a PS4 Pro here to do this but yeah, you can pretty much play the game and I noticed that so far there's no lag with this particular game but I'll show you a couple of the games where there's definitely some lag in when you're playing and I'm just kind of hopping around here to give you guys an example of kind of how this one is playing here and I'm doing it right through my DualShock 4 controller which I would tell you for this game like Astro's uh, Playground you definitely want the dual sense control because it's all designed around that. But you can play remotely if you feel like you want to get the game on here. Let's go ahead and hit the PS button. We can already go to the uh, back to home. And well, let's open up like a legacy game such as uh, the Mega Man Legacy Connection Collection. This is where definitely I notice a little bit of lag in playing the game here. But instantly right away, I can tell there's lag just, just behind everything. So I'm already trying to shoot this guy right here and I can't even do it and I'm not this bad at Mega Man but I just want to show you how the, there's a the lag and delay and it almost feels like you're kind of having a struggle to be able to kind of move the character around so there is some lag in some of the games uh, through the control through there but that's obviously we're doing this through a, re a remote connection and not everything's going to be optimized for this so that's just kind of something to keep in mind not all games are going to play as smoothly or lag free so, but it's very cool that you can do this remote play feature. It's another nice value add that Sony's giving to you here with the PS5 and allowing you to get more out of your PS4. So if you still want to use that, maybe have that one location at PS5 and another location and be able to do that until you're maybe ready to give up the PS4 or you might want to keep it around just do remote playing like I showed you right there. But simple, effective, pretty easy to do. It's really cool. But uh, definitely you, you want to check out some of our other PS4 stuff here. If you haven't seen our full unboxing and setup, definitely check that whole uh, stuff out there. Some really good stuff. We're also going to be showing some pretty cool things about being able to record your gameplay footage with your PS5 and a couple of cool options with that. And you can check that out here in this video as well too. If it's not up yet, it will be up soon and we'll definitely post a link here. If not, check out the playlist of all of our PS5 coverage here. Thanks for watching.